This little device is going to change your brewing world forever. Prepare to be mind blown. All right, I know you guys all hit that subscribe button because you're awesome, and you hit that like button because it helps out the channel a lot, but if you really, really want to be awesome, hit that join button below and become a channel member. Members enjoy awesome perks like some exclusive recipes, my brew day sheets to help you along the way and take some notes, and you get to watch my videos early before anybody else. So hit that join button and become awesome. What's up everybody, I'm Dennis and welcome back to Cityscape Brewing. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Tilt Hydrometers. I've done a different video in the past talking about what an awesome company they are and their customer support is top notch. However, they came out with this little device and it is going to change your brewing experience for the better. As you guys know, I add a Tilt Hydrometer in every single beer that I brew and that's why I actually have two of them, a red and a blue, just in case I'm brewing two at the same time. These things are invaluable for telling you awesome information about where your beer is in the fermentation process. But what makes it awesome isn't that you can just bring your phone up to the tilt and see where it's at in real time, which you can. But to me, the absolute game changer is that you can connect it to have it log every 15 minutes to the cloud, to a Google Sheets, and you can see that no matter where you are in the entire world, so long as you have an internet connection. My previous video, I talked about that exactly and why you needed a Tilt Pie, which is a small device that come, sometimes comes in a case like this that can connect to the Tilts, and they show you how to do that on Tilt's page. But they've created their own version of this that requires literally no setup other than connecting your Wi-Fi device and that's called the Tilt Pico. This is essentially a little Raspberry Pi inside of this device. You can literally hang it with this little lanyard right on a portion of your fermenter or really anywhere in close proximity. So let's go through the entire setup process and I'll show you how easy it really is. So when you get this little guy in the mail, it's gonna come with the Tilt Pico itself, a charging cable, a quick start guide, and a cool little sticker for you just from Tilt. One thing it doesn't include is like a brick charger like this one that plugs directly in the wall, but sometimes people have outlets or other adapters, but any brick that you're gonna use for a USB-A connection will work just fine. First, you're gonna wanna grab a glass of water and or a beer and your Tilt hydrometer. You're gonna wanna place that Tilt hydrometer in the glass of water to start registering a reading and turning it on. Then you're going to take your Tilt Pico, you're gonna plug in the attached USB cable to turn it on. You're gonna go ahead and see some blinking green lights that's gonna indicate that it's turning on and that it's searching for a connection. If you haven't already, you're gonna to need to also download the Tilt Pico app for your phone, whether it's iOS or Android, there's a quick little QR code right on the back of the Tilt Pico to get you started and downloading the correct one. Once that's plugged in, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and start your Tilt Pico app. At the bottom of the page, you're gonna see a little green button that's gonna say Connect Tilt Pico. You're gonna enter a unique name for your Tilt Pico. You're gonna enter your Wi-Fi name. This is exactly as it's listed when you search for Wi-Fi devices from your phone. It will not come up with a list, so make sure you type that correctly, just as it's listed on your Wi-Fi search. Next, you're gonna type in that Wi-Fi password. That will go through a connection phase. This will take about 20 seconds or so. Once that gets done, you'll see a little connecting to Wi-Fi signal followed by a success page that says that's now connected to Wi-Fi and any current tilt hydrometers are ready to start cloud logging. I have already thrown in my red hy tilt hydrometer here. So you're gonna see that it's going to list that on the tilt hydrometer app now. And at the top, it's going to say red and then there's a little lightning bolt and the word tilt Pico right next to it. If you hit the little gear and you go to logging, you can put in a name for your beer you're gonna enter your email address where you want the Tilt 
app to send you an email with your Google Sheet, then click save. You're also gonna to toggle on the use default cloud URL. That's going to allow it to send to your Google Sheets. And then you're gonna click start new log. This is going to email you a specific Google Sheets from Tilt, which you can track your logging intervals. You can also change those intervals on the app just underneath those settings. In addition to logging to a Google Sheets, you can also have it log to a third party app like Brewer's Friend, which I use for also tracking my Tilt readings. You'll have to get that from your website, like Brewer's Friend has a specific page for tilt hydrometers. It will give you a link that's specific for you. You can cut and paste that into this app under third-party cloud logging. Then you use use custom link, and then you paste that link right into the app. That way it will be sent to the Google Sheets and your brewing app that you prefer. How awesome is that? There's also options for calibrating when you're using water and making sure that your tilt hydrometers are up to calibration, both for temperature and for specific gravity. So head into your account. You're gonna go ahead and click that Google Doc, and then you're gonna be able to see that it opens up. It's gonna show a timestamp of when it, that interval was that it recorded. Then it's going to give you the specific gravity and it's going to give you the temperature. So as your beer is either heating up or cooling down or what have you, it's gonna show you those intervals also. One thing I do like in the Google Sheets is it has a tab for a chart. You're gonna be able to see the entire fermentation action basically in real time from your phone for every brew that you have. So how cool is it instead of just coming home, going by with your phone, being able to see where that's at, but now you can see where it's at from work and you know you need to maybe transfer your beer or dry hop or raise the temperature for a diacetyl rest, etc without ever having to open up the container, take a hydrometer reading or anything. I also wanted to test how this is gonna work with two hydrometers. So not only do I have my red one in water, well, I also have my blue one in a beer. Well, here goes nothing. And now, as you can see, it actually has both of my tilts. They're actually touching the side of the glass. So it's not the exact reading that it would be, but you can kind of get the idea. And so the red one you can see has a little yellow lightning bolt because it's being recorded on the Tilt Pico. I need to go ahead and tap Tilt Pico on this one to start logging one with my blue Tilt. So then I would pick Cityscape Brewing Pico. I would set up a new logging sheet by pushing OK. And I would follow the same instructions by setting up a beer name. In this case, I'm just gonna say test blue and then my email address for sending that Google Sheets to my email. It's gonna to connect to the cloud, which just takes a couple of seconds. And then before you know it, I'm gonna get an email in just a few seconds that's gonna send me that Google Sheet as well. It's gonna show me that I've connected that Tilt Pico and it's gonna tell me that that little lightning bolt is going to switch for a different color. It's gonna show that active logging now. And wouldn't you know it, there it is. How easy is that? Just throw your beer in, click the little button, and off to the races. They've made it super, super, super simple and took your brewing experience to the next level. And one of the best things that I like about the Tilt Pico is the price. Because this little raspberry pie that I bought several years ago is still in the range of $50 to $100, depending on where you buy it. And this thing requires a bunch of setup but the tilt pico is literally under 50 dollars, and you can get it shipped right to your home set up automatically from tilt so you know it's gonna work i'm gonna have links to all of these things including the tilt hydrometers and where to get them they have pro versions that go through stainless steel better than the regular versions and they have mini pros and all these different repeaters and everything that you need for your brewing setup. Whether you have all shiny stainless steel fermenters or you're brewing in a bucket, this is affordable for everybody and will change the way that you brew forever. You can do this right from your phone, from the comfort of your couch. Now that's awesome. As always, leave any questions or comments in the video description below. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Get yourself a Tilt Pico and a Tilt Hydrometer. Happy brewing and cheers. Hey. Thanks for watching my video. You're awesome. You want to be even more awesome? Hit that join button and become a member. 
you'll get exclusive members-only recipes and other perks like brew day sheets and watch my videos early as they drop before anyone else. So hit that join button below, become a member, and be awesome.